Hey everyone, it's uh, time to start on a new frame for the greenhouse project. Just come into the workshop, it's a rainy stormy day out, horrible, perfect weather to be in here, lots of hydro coming in. A bit cold in here, I've just got the fire going. Uh, for, so for the next week, probably nearly two weeks actually, be out here working on the uh, frame. First thing I need to do is put in the new, what I've been calling tie beams, I think they're called girts, it's really, I don't, I'm never really up on all the nomenclature of, uh, of building things, you know, it's just a, to me it's just a thing that ties two bits together, it's a tie beam. Um, but yeah, the, these two are going to be the pieces that tie the next frame into the last frame. Um, so I need to make these first, I need to make four wind braces, I need to make the two wind braces, the big wind braces, and I need to make some pegs because I've run out of pegs. Um, so I've got quite, I've got like a couple of days really of preparations just before I can really even start a frame. Um, I did already make this piece in preparation when I did the last one, so that's the very top piece. With the tenon on the bottom just needs a mortise in it, so sort of started it in some respects. Ugh. Workshop's mostly tidy, I've got power coming in, I've got the wood stove on, I've got a new tripod for the camera and um, yeah and also I'm recording at higher uh, frame rate these days as well so hopefully we get some nice shots and some nice video and uh, we get this frame built, uh, the last one of four. Okay let's get to work. So yeah I thought I'd just quickly show what I do to uh, for sharpening because I've never really shown that. Um, it's quite an important aspect of woodwork. A lot of channels, really, you know, a lot of people that see do woodwork on YouTube at least, sharpen things to such ridiculous sharpness, like it just takes so long to do. I'm more of just, I just want the thing to be sharp. I want it to be sharp as quick as possible, and I want to be able to resharpen it as quick as possible once it's blunt again. And the difference between, like, you lose that sharpness. If you get it so sharp that it's just, like, unbelievably sharp, like 12,000 grip mirror finish sharp, you know, you get on, on these hardwoods, it gets blunt so quickly, it's just not worth the time and effort to get it that sharp in the first place. I don't think, anyway. Um, but this this plain iron here has actually got, it's had a micro bevel on it, the micro bevel's getting a bit big. So I'm going to take that off with a rough grip. Right, now I'm going to do a 120 grip. Right, now this is a really worn down 240 grit, so it's probably more like 600 grit at this point, to be honest. Um, at this point, this will get really too hot if you use it for very long, so it's just literally just on off, you know, otherwise you burn it and you take out the temper. So at this point, I want to get that burr off the back. So all I do is I rest that on there and just come in just very gently, just touch it off on the back. That will remove the burr. We will now be pretty sharp. Now that would be usable sharp. I'm going to get it sharper yet. So I'm going to go from that to then, this is a, about an 800 grit or something belt. Trizac belt it's called, I think. From there to let's have this one. This is my final grit, which is about 1200, I believe, something like that. Close enough. That will be sharp now, and that's how I sharpen. I'm not saying it's the best way or the right way, but it's how I do it. It's how I do it very quickly, and uh, believe me, that's sharp. And then, you can just give it a little bit of a strop in. Demonstrating sharpness is difficult. People say if it shaves, so that's really sharp, but shaving isn't a good demonstration of sharpness, although you can see it is shaving perfectly. But yeah, 
you, you can have a chisel that shaves and isn't that sharp uh, but yeah that's pretty sharp it takes me maybe like three minutes or something to sharpen a plane or a chisel up to about 1200 grit with a belt sander and uh, that's what I use because it, like, it's just so so much faster like wet stone is still very nice you know having a hand tool workshop and sharpening with wet stones up to like thousands of grit and everything but I haven't got the time for that you know I'd rather just uh, get something sharp and just use it so that's my method you know rain's coming down now bits that are a bit rubbish. That is roaring. So there are two tie beams done. So these are the ends of the post. The other one's tied into the previous post. This is the end, the very last post that goes into deep moist. Um, so this is going to have a radius corner from the chain moister, so I just trim off these corners. Right, so there's our two tie beams. We're still going to need two mortises for the wind braces, but I need to make the wind braces first. These still need a test fit on oh, the frame, but uh, it's chucking it down, so I shall uh, test fit them. Um, well, on a better day, really. So there is uh, uh, two new tie beams in, ready for us to make the next frame. Good morning everyone, so it's a beautiful day out, snowy, garden's looking awesome in the snow and uh, today I'm going to start getting the frame done, fourth frame, and uh, we'll try and get that out and done this week. So it's going to be a day, well a week actually, in the workshop, so let's, uh, let's get to it.
got uh, most of this frame together now. I just need to uh, do my mortises to join this in and the braces. Um, I'll do that tomorrow. I'm just going to get this peg together temporarily so I can use it as a reference for everything. So it's, uh, Right, so anyway, I just tried to record putting that together, but it didn't record, which is always an annoying thing. But uh, there we go, there's our frame together, so just uh, braces now. You'll notice I've cut pockets there, I don't have any timber to put in them, but I've cut the pockets ready, because it's going to be for the window in the back wall. But I'll make it so I can put them in afterwards. Right, tomorrow I shall do the braces. Just uh, do the test fit. Braces. Like that. Right, last piece coming together here now. I have to admit, it's been a bit of a struggle this last frame. Um, not because uh, it's been difficult work, just because mentally it's just been a bit repetitive for me now, doing so many of them. But I'm on the home straight here. Just got to get this to fit up and then uh, get these to tie into the frame out there. Moist in the bottoms and we're, and we're close there. So, this one to try. Perfect. Fits. Oh man, thank God for that. Right, one more day, we'll be putting her up. Right, so this should be the uh, the last day on this frame now. Uh, just going to get it together today and get this workshop tidied up. Weather's not good out, um, so it's windy, so I'll probably uh, film it and do a bit of voiceover for you. Um, I'm going to build the frame in place because it's right on the end and I can't really get uh, it built because it's hanging over like a bog and a stream. I should have built it the other way, started from the back, worked to the front, but never mind. So I'll build it in place like I did the first one, I can have a better platform this time. Battling with the weather here a little bit. But the first bit went in okay. We've got a much better working height now. Still quite, quite stable up there. I'm afraid the uh, lens just keeps getting soaking wet. I'm trying to keep it dry but Right, back in the workshop, uh, out the wind. That was hard work today. Uh, windy, rainy, difficult to film, and on the end I had to build it where it was. It wasn't too bad, the platform was nice and high this time. But yeah, uh, I'm glad that's done now. Right, so uh, there's the frame. The uh, wood just looks awesome when it's wet like that. 
and the contrast between the lighter and darker wood looked awesome. Um, really pleased to have had that done. It was a long process doing all that joinery, but I enjoyed it. But I'm uh, ready to move on to another project um, for a while, which is going to be the sawmill, which we'll be doing in the next video next week. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.